we would move effectively as Christians in that direction, then they would withdraw. I couldn't they agree more, submit. but the problem is that, well, it's a very bad situation. I can tell you that uh, I have been asked to speak at several Catholic events and then canceled by the bishops. Yeah. Yeah. And they don't want to talk about this. You know, the Pope, he said, uh, true, uh, true Islam and the proper understanding of the Quran are opposed to every form of violence. Which is like saying the moon is made of green cheese. And we'll deliver pizza to our front door. There is absolutely no truth to that statement. But because he's the Pope, so many Catholics think, well, they have to follow that line. And apparently the American bishops think they have to follow that line. This is a very major scandal and a very grave danger. And it's a betrayal of the Catholics and other Christians in the Middle East who have suffered because of this. And they're going to have, uh, you know, I don't know what can be done about it because I'm trying to get the word out, but I'm prevented from getting the word out by this policy. What and so the only thing I can say is that people who are in the churches, or if you know people who are in the churches, you try to tell, impress upon them the imperative of getting through to the hierarchs and trying to change this policy. But I think it's something that comes from the top. Mm -hmm. And in a hierarchical religion, it's very hard to buck that. Mm.